Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you all. Happy, blessed New Year to you all. Amen. Whoever with us worshiping online, worshipers, we welcome you. We speak to you. A blessed, happy New Year to you. Amen. From the city of Tulsa, we send our blessing to you in the name of Jesus. Blessed, happy New Year to you. Amen. This year, the year, every year the Lord graciously gave us a word for the team of the year, as the team of the year. Uh, the 31st December of 2017 evening service, watch night service, by 10 o'clock in the evening, the Lord just spoke to me. The theme for the year 2018 is in his presence. Everybody say in his presence. In his presence. Once again, in his presence. In his presence, all our problems are melt away. Amen? All our worry, our concern, our anxiety, our fear. Some people are afraid of facing the future. But all if we are in his presence, almighty God's presence, Loving Father's presence. Can you say amen for that? Amen. 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 In loving Father's presence. Holy God's presence. Awesome God's presence. All the difficulties or problems that we are facing, all the challenges we may have in our life are melt away. Even sickness cannot stand in his presence. Sickness have to go away in his presence. Amen. 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 Even the spirit of hatred will go away and instead of hatred, jealousy, the love of God will flow through us. The peace, the shalom peace of God will Ring in our hearts, our soul and spirit. The shalom peace will give us a rest, a rest, a resting life, not a struggling, a struggling life, a restful life. Joy, peace, rest, sound sleep. Some people try to get, uh, try to rest. Even though they just lie, lay down and try to rest, they don't have rest. Why? They need the presence of God. In His presence, there is a joy, full of joy, full of shalom. True, true rest comes in His presence. True joy comes in His presence. True peace is in his presence. So, God's presence is so precious for each one of us. That's why we say, your presence is heaven to me. Everybody say, your presence is heaven to me. We are, whenever we are in his presence, we are foretaste of heavenly goodness. Four particles of heavenly place. Hallelujah. Every day is like heaven. Even though we may be so poor or not, may, may not be so rich like other people, but still, we are so full of peace and joy. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. We don't care how people live, how people have a good car or a good house or a good food or what clothes. We don't care. We are really enjoying, really feeling good in His presence. 
I know. The presence of God is everywhere. Everywhere. He's omnipotent. Amen? That means He's everywhere. But the important thing is, even though He's omnipotent, everywhere His presence is there, we need to feel it emotionally. Some people think emotionally is not so good. No, 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 no. We are human beings. We need to have good emotional feeling. In His presence, we can feel good about that. In His presence, we feel love. In His presence, we feel that we are forgiven. In His presence, we feel that we are accepted by God. In His presence, we are children of the Most High God. In His presence, we just feel we are royal family. Amen? <clears throat> Hallelujah. In His presence, we are secure. All our in the problem we have is sometimes we have insecurity spirit. That insecurity spirit creates a lot of problems. Some people have insecurity, therefore they are fighting, not, they are fighting nothing. <clears throat> Why? They are insecure. Me, people may come and take away my position. People, people, people may take away this and so they are. Some government are so insecure, therefore they try to oppress the, their people, those who are in authority, because of their insecurity. But those government who are secure in their position, they just try to bless their own people and give them freedom. Some people, they don't want to give freedom to the people because they themselves are so insecure. Insecurity brings a lot of problems. But today, when you are in the presence of God, you will have a wonderful security. You are safe and sound. Hallelujah. Can you say amen for that? Just give a shout and a clap offering to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Therefore, we, the children of God, are always longing to the presence of God. We need to more and more hunger for the presence of God. We need to really seek and look for the presence of God. Ask for the, here the psalmist was asking the presence of God like that. Let's turn our Bible to Psalm 84, please. Psalm 84, verses 1 to 12. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty. The psalmist said, O Lord, how beautiful. How lovely is your dwelling place. That means he's really longing for the presence of Almighty God. And verse 2. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. With my whole being, body and soul, I shall shout joyfully to the living God. So the psalm is how he longed for the presence of God. He even faint. He even faint. How much he long? So today, the greatest blessing is not a goal. Not having a good car or not having a good education. The greatest blessing from Almighty God is let, he, let we feel that His wonderful presence. That is the greatest blessing. Hallelujah. Here the psalmist said, I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. How much he longed for the presence of God. Let me tell you one more time. If we are in his presence, in his presence, there is purity. Everybody say purity. <clears throat> Sometimes as a human being, our fleshy desire are so dirty. <clears throat> so sinful nature we have. We are keep on dreaming something which is not right with God sometimes. 
dreaming and longing for that kind of desire. <clears throat> but once you strongly felt in the presence of God, all this dirty spirit, as you say, all this dirty longing or desire, the only way to conquer this dirty desire is just to be in the presence of God. Can you say amen for that? One more time, give a clap offering to Jesus. Amen. So when you and I are in the holy presence of God, all our dirty longing, desire, dream, bad dreams melt away and holy desire will come. Many a time we long for this and that of worldly things. But when you feel in the, you are in the presence of God, you will have a holy desire. Just you talk, sweet talking with to the Lord. Many a time we say, say we are spending time in the presence of God, but we are praying, praying. What we are praying? We are just praying for our needs and our wants only. But when you are really in the presence of God, you just not asking the Lord for what you want and what you need. You just sweet a sweet talk to the Lord. How good you are, Lord. How beautiful you are, Lord. How awesome you are, Lord. How holy you are, God. Oh, Lord, you are mighty God. I love you so much. Your beautiful presence is so sweet to me. So and so forth. We are keep on saying to how much we love him. How much we appreciate him. How much we want to praise him from our spirit. And how much we long for it. That is a sweet talk to the Lord. Can you say amen for that? Yeah. Hallelujah. One more shout and clap to Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So when we are. Longing and in his presence, there is a purity, a pure heart, a sincerity, honesty, no more cheating business. Just we want to be honored in everything we do. I, sh I want to tell you, honesty come from the presence of God. Those who are really spending more time in the presence of God, I believe they will be the most honest people in the world. Honest. No telling lie. Whether they are going to be punished or whatever, still you, they will want to be honest. Why? They are in the holy presence of God. Can you say amen for that? Hallelujah. What a beautiful life will be if we have that presence of life every day of our life. It is available all the time. The presence of God is always available. Whoever long to seek that presence. Whoever longing to come to in His presence. Amen. In those days, in the Old Testament... They think uh, the presence of God is only in Jerusalem, in the temple of Jerusalem. Now in, in the New Testament, everywhere is God's presence is available. Amen? Hallelujah. You don't need to go to that mountain or you don't need to go, go to that mountain or you don't need to go to that this particular church. No. Everywhere as you long for His presence. Everywhere the present mighty presence of God is available. Can you say and give a clap offering to Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Wherever the, the summit. I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord with my whole being. With my whole being. Whole being mean? My body, my soul, my spirit, my whole being. Longing for the presence of God. When you are in the presence of God, your spirit is so free. When you are in the presence of God, your soul is so happy. When you are in the presence of God, your whole body is a renewal body. Even sickness will run away and you will be a healthy body. Can you say amen for that? Hallelujah. 
in his presence, no sickness can stand in the presence of God. No devil, no evil spirit can stand against the presence of God. In his presence, holiness, freedom. Amen? Wholeness. I will shout joyfully to the living God. Lord, I long for you. <coughs> I will shout me. Lord, I need you. I want your presence. I long for your presence. Hallelujah. Verse 3. Even the sparrow find a home there. And the swallow builds her nest and raise her young at the place near your altar. Even those small birds build their nets in the house of, in the altar of the Lord. So, even it seems like the psalmist is jealous for even that small birds. Amen? How much he longed for it. May this the year 2018 bring us that great desire, longing for the presence of God. Can you say amen for that? Yeah. Oh Lord Almighty, all oh Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Verse 4. How happy are those who can live in, the, in your house, always singing your praise. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. How happy or how blessed, blessed people are those who are Always living in the house of the Lord and singing praise and worship to the Lord. They are blessed people. They are the most happy people. He said so. So today, the whole day in, on Sunday, we are the whole day from 8.30 to until now. We are the blessed, the most blessed people. Can you say amen for yourself? Yeah. Amen. We are in his presence. No time for the devil. Can you say amen for that? <laughs> Some people gone home or somewhere they go move around and they have time for the devil. But we can, we have time for Jesus and for him alone. Give a wonderful cup offering to Jesus. Amen. Verse 5. Happy are those who are strong in the Lord, who set their minds. Where they set their mind? Who set their mind on the pilgrimage to Jerusalem? Because in Jerusalem, there's a, the presence of God, the altar of God, the temple of God is there. They set their mind to where God is. That means where his presence is. Therefore, they are blessed people. They are so strong people. So according to the Bible... We are strong people. Can you say amen for that? Because we are longing for his presence. Amen? Verse 6. When they walk through the valley of weeping. Weeping mean? Crying, weeping. Sorrowful spirit. In the valley of sorrowful experience. In the valley of uh, wicked. In the valley of Losing things or sorrowful, broken heart, whatever. Even though we walk in that valley, in the valley of weeping, what's that? It will become a place of refreshing springs. Everybody say refreshing springs. Amen? We will be refreshed. Our morning will become dancing. Amen. Our sorrowful become joyful experience. Amen. Our hopeless situation become full of hope. Glorious hope. Amen. Our future is a bright future. Because we walk in his presence. Hallelujah. It will become a place of refreshing spring where pools of blessing collect after the rains. Amen. 
pools of blessing. Hallelujah. All your sorrowful, weeping experience become pool of blessings. Hallelujah. Verse 7. They will continue to grow stronger and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. We will be growing. How we will grow? Not weaker and weaker. We will be growing stronger and stronger. Hallelujah. Is your desire? You want to become stronger and stronger? Is your desire? If so, the presence of God is always available. Seek His presence. Long for His presence. Press for His presence. Many a time, when you start to pray or praise and worship, you will not experience His presence immediately. Because the evil spirit that it moves around our environments are very jealous of that we might feel His presence. So, they try to hinder the presence of God from you emotionally. In, in spite of you are singing or praying, in spite of you are concentrating on God, sometimes your mouth will be singing, but still your heart and your mind will be setting on your problems. Thinking your past. Think about other people. So on and so forth. Many things. But if, when that happens, you don't feel the presence of God. But fight for that, I will say. Fight for that. Endure for that. Amen? Fight it. Against it. Until I receive His presence, I will keep on praying. Amen? Until I receive his presence, I will keep on singing. Amen? Until I receive His presence, I will keep on shouting. Hallelujah. Keep on doing. Until the presence of God comes. Sometimes, 50 by 55 minutes gone, still you don't feel the presence of God. Sometimes it happens. But, about to one hour, just few minutes time, the presence of God will come. You will refresh. Your spirit will renew. Your mind will renew. Happiness will come. Joy will come. Freedom will come. Amen. Love will come. Forgiveness will come. Everything will come in His presence. Hallelujah. So we need to be really sometime fight the devil, the evil spirit that hinder the presence of God from our feeling. Even our feeling is very important. Fight for it. Fight for it. Keep on praying. Keep on seeking. Then finally, all the hindrance will melt away and you will be free in His presence. Hallelujah. Would you like to experience that? That is the only available for you is your choice. You have to make your own decision for that. You have to make your own choice for that and make a strong decision. I will not stop until I feel in His presence. If you say so, it will come and you will be truly in His presence. Hallelujah. Are you blessed today? Verse 8. O Lord God Almighty, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Israel. So some is even said, O Lord Almighty God, hear my prayer. Sometimes we say, Oh, my prayer is not heard by God. Something we feel like that. Something like that. Even the ceiling, it cannot pass. That's even the ceiling cannot pass. It, so keep on praying. Press on yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
All your lazy spirit will until melt away. <laughs> Amen. We will continue to. Uh, oh Lord God Almighty, hear my prayer. Listen, O oh God of Israel. Verse 9. Oh God, look with favor upon the king, your protector. Up, uh, upon the king, our protector. Have mercy on. The ones you have anointed. Verse 10. A single day in the courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. A single day in the presence of God is better than a thousand days anywhere else. Can you say amen for that? Yes. Are you agree with the summits? Are you agree with the summits? Yes. Even though we are a thousand days outside. Better is just one single day in his presence. Hallelujah. That's a great value. A great, great value in his presence. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live in a good life in the home of the wicked. You will be, you will have a good life, good food, good clothes, a lot of money. But where you live is a wicked house. The Sami said, I rather want to live as a gatekeeper for the Lord just one day. Even I, uh, uh, I, I live in a good life in the wicked house. Are you agree with the, the, the Sami Hallelujah. You want to be a gatekeeper for the Lord? Great. Verse 11. For the God, for the Lord God is our light and protector. He is our protector. The year 2018, God will protect you with his presence. In his presence. You will be safe and sound. You will be protected by him. Hallelujah. For the Lord God is our light. We will have light in his. The light means we will not walk in darkness. In light we know where is the danger. Where, is, where should we go? Where we should not go? We can see in the light. In the dark, we cannot see it. So, in his presence, we will be no more in the darkness. We will be in the light of the Lord. And he will be our protector. Protection is very important. In this world, there are many dangerous things are there. It can happen anytime. Even though you are driving car, a lot of possibilities of accident. But until we are safe and some, because his protect is up. protection is upon us. Amen? 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 He protects us. Many bad things can happen anytime, any day in our life. But because of his protection, we are safe and sound. We are blessed. Can you say amen for that? Yes. So we need his protection every day of our life. But in his presence, there is full of guarantee for protection. In his presence, full of guarantee for his protection. Can you say amen for that? Yes. He gives us grace and glory. Hallelujah. He gave us what? Grace and glory. Grace. We all understand grace. And what is that? that? And merited favor. Even though we are, we are not worthy to be blessed. We are not worthy to be favored by God. We are not worthy to be protected by God. He still protects us. He still bless us. He still grant us his great favor. That is called grace. And what is that? Glory. Glory means you will be success. 
you will be famous. People, you will be a well-known person. People will respect you. These are the blessings of God. Hallelujah. You cannot do for your fame, for yourself. You cannot do that people might know me like that. So if you, not, if you try by yourself, it will not happen. But when God promotes you, lift you up, He can be your glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Therefore, the psalmist said, My glory and the lifter of my head. My glory and the lifter of my head. La, la, la. La, 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 la. My glory and the lifter of my head. Wow. He's our glory. He's the one lifted up our head higher. That means, Lift that up high ahead is mean victory, not a failure, not a shame, glory. Hallelujah. He lifted our head. No good thing will the Lord withhold from those who do what is right. The Lord will not withhold good thing from you. Every good he wants to give you. Hallelujah. He will not withhold any good for you. If you do the right thing. What is the right thing? To stay in His presence. Amen. He will not withhold any good from you. Good mean good health, good success, financial breakthrough, joy, peace, good family life. Good study, good education, good job, good wages, good money. <laughs> I should say. Hallelujah. He will not withhold from you if you do the right thing. The right thing is what? Every day in his presence. Can you say amen for that? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 12. O Lord mighty, happy are. Those who trust in you. Happy are those who trust in you. If we trust, if you trust the Lord, you are the most happy person. Hallelujah. Therefore, in the year 2018, 2018, 18, 2018 is in his presence. In his presence. Just now, Jin Zamung sang a song, was that? We all are melt. Our problem, our anxiety, worry, fear, insecurity, all the problems are melt in his presence. We are full of love, joy, peace, success. Full of even faith. Full of faith. Full of trust in the Lord. Amen? Some people, are, they say they trust the Lord, but they really don't trust the Lord. They just trust their relatives. They expect from somebody, if them somebody... Doesn't do what the way they expect they are. They feel bad. Those who are feeling bad because of somebody do not perform what they expect. They are the people, those who are not trusting in the Lord. Trusting the Lord people, whether people do good or not, you are still happy. You know that God will do the best for me. God has, God has the best in my future. The best is yet to come. Amen? Those, those are the people who really trust in the Lord. Amen? People who are misunderstanding who my relative don't do, nay, they don't care me, they, they just despise me, so on and so forth. People say, they are the people who do not trust in the Lord. We 
will choose to trust in the Lord. Whether people do good or do bad, we know God has the best for us. Can we say amen for that? Amen. Let us stay in His presence. Always. Always. Every day. Every day will be full of joy. Full of success. Full of love. Full of peace. In His presence. Shall we all stand please? Those who are with us from online, worshiping with us, listening, receiving the word of the Lord for the year 2018. And the people here in this church, let us lift up our voice, our hands to the Lord and worship Him. And let, let us asking, longing for His presence in the year 2018 will be full of His presence every day of our life. Father God, we come to you. In the mighty name of our Savior, Jesus. Lord, we long for you. We need you, Lord. Let your presence be with us. We want to be in your presence. Spending time with you. Spending time with and talking with you. A sweet fellowship. A sweet talk with you. Face to face, you Lord, with God, with you, Lord, we want to trust you more and more, so that all our problems will melt away, our anxiety, our worry, our concern, our wrong desire, will all be melt in your presence. Even our hatred, jealousy, whatever, will melt in your presence. We will be clean, cleansed. And we will be purity in your presence. We will have a wonderful, sincere spirit, honest heart. We will worship you faithfully in truth and in the spirit. So that your presence will bring to us healing. Not just healing, divine healing from you, Lord. Miracle after miracle. Your provision financially. Materially, we will have emotionally be strong and healthy, Lord. We need your presence, Jesus. We welcome your presence, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. We need you. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Spirit, thou art welcome in this praise, omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this. Sing it again one more time to uh, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Oh, me, Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. One more time, Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome, Lord. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome.
Yes, Lord, we want to be in your presence every day. Like the psalmist, we are longing for your presence, your dwelling place, O oh Lord. Have mercy on us so that we may be in your presence. Our sinful desire will be melted away. We will, we will experience purity, joy and peace, and faith and hope and love and forgiveness and mercy, kindness in your presence. We will be secure in your presence, O oh Lord. We will be safe and sound, O oh Lord. We will be stronger and stronger. Even the valley of weeping will become a great blessing of spring water. Lord, in your presence, there's a divine healing. No sickness can stand against your presence. No devil can stand against your presence. Lord, we want to be in your presence. We long for that. We are asking for it. The year 2080, you said, your presence. That is a blessing from you, O oh God. We ask for your presence. Every day of the year 2080, we will experience your presence. We will gain wisdom from you, revelation, knowledge from you. We will even experience boldness in you. Courageously, we can walk for you and for you alone. So that the banner of Jesus will be lifted up higher and higher in your presence. Your kingdom will be extended. The soul will come to your kingdom. You will use us mightily for your own glory, O oh Father. Let your Holy Spirit continue to guide us and lead us in your presence. This we pray for your glory in Jesus' precious mighty name. Amen. God bless you all.